This meeting was a follow-up to that of 24th May 2023, in which, among other things, we endorsed the decision by our delegation to walk out of the talks until Kenya Kwanzaa agrees to deal with the interim issues raised by our team. The meeting today deliberated on three main issues. One, reorganization of Azimio leadership in the National Assembly. Two, an in-depth analysis of the Finance Bill 2023. And three, the status of the joint bipartisan talks. This meeting took a position as follows. On the finance bill, our members have come to the conclusion that it has only bad news, worst news and the worst news. We consider this to be a bill from people living either in another planet or another country other than Kenya. It is the position of the parliamentary group that the millions of Kenyans struggling with the high cost of unga, sugar, fuel, school fees, and electricity, among others, businesses struggling with shortage of supplies, high taxes, Kenyans struggling with high medical expenses, parents, civil servants, struggling with diminishing pay and increased tax deductions do not believe this bill is from a government working for them. They do not believe anyone living in this country can come up with the raft of taxes contained in the Finance Bill 2023. Our parliamentary group has also taken an extremely dim view of the arrogance with which the Kenya Kwanzaa administration wants to take billions out of the pockets of some of the poorest people in this country while expecting them to cheer. Kenya Kwanzaa position on the finance bill is take or leave it. We take the position that the budget proposals offer completely no support for working people. And upcoming, and upcoming businesses. For the taxes being levied, people are getting nothing in return. We oppose the burden being Im imposed on working people through reckless measures like house levy, income tax, and taxes on per diem. We oppose increased taxes on startups and small businesses. We oppose increased taxes on fuel, which will raise the cost of the product by at least Kenya shillings 10 per litre. Azimio is of the view that this finance bill takes us back to the 1980s. It takes us back to the era of cost sharing in public institutions. It takes us back to the era of structural adjustment programs. It takes us back to the 1980s because the people who were in charge back then are in charge today. It is our position that in the long history of budget making in this country, never has a regime tasked our people to sacrifice so much by way of taxes for so little by way of gains. We have refused to sit back and watch as Kenyans are being harassed to fix cash crunch caused by economic mismanagement, wasteful spending, corruption, and skewed and incompetent hiring into critical public positions. We reject this backward march. We reject the finance bill in total. We reject excess taxation to finance wasteful expenditure. On reorganization of leadership, it is our hope 
that the media fraternity and Kenyans at large recall that at our last meeting, we recognized the resolutions of our affiliate party, Jubilee, reached at the party's special national delegates convention, including the change of leadership. We said those changes must be taken as final and must be respected and enforced by the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties. <laughs>